Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. All right, so this week I want to work on this wildflower garden. That's a commission. And over on my other table, I wanna make some good progress on Chester, this little dog commission that I'm doing. And I also want to make a pendant. All right, so I'm not finished with the flowers down at the bottom, but I want to figure out where I'm putting the sunflowers that are at the top. So I have some tracing paper, and I know the red flowers are gonna come up on this side, and so I wanna focus the yellow sunflowers on this side, but I am also going to make an odd number. So that's my plan, but I need to hash it out and work it out and see how it looks. But let me get after it. So first of all, I'm going to make a big one right here. It's going to balance out the other flowers that are on this side. It's gonna be the main sunflower. And I wanna put it up uh, high because it's gonna be the biggest, it's gonna be the tallest. And the other ones are not gonna be this big. And they might not be dead on facing. For the flowers that I've drawn, I'm, I put uh, carbon paper underneath the tracing paper and I'm going to trace over it one more time and it's just going to be a rough. Uh, I may add more leaves and whatnot as I work. the center of the sunflowers and while it's my instinct to micro make these and just put every little detail in I can't do that because it's behind the fence and it needs to be more simplified the further it goes back and so I'm going to be using this textured glass which will give the impression of texture there in the middle but it'll be much easier because I will just have one piece for each of those and I'm not a hundred percent sure about putting all of them in but uh, I am going to start with this one in the front and I'm going to make it the brightest uh, because that's going to be the main one. And then uh, the other ones will mostly be this other glass with maybe some darker tones mixed in. That's it.
here's where I left off on Little Chester. And when I look at the image, I never did finish the darkest black, which comes around right here and onto the leg with a tiny bit over here. So I've already pre-cut some feather cuts with my two blacks, and I'm gonna start gluing the rest of that down. That's it. Chester's face there he really does have brown eyes sometimes it can be hard to see in the video and the difference in texture that I've put in the black fur here just to make it more interesting since it is sort of all the same color but uh, I'm getting ready to add some other colors I think it's easier to just work in the colors as you go instead of leaving pockets which I've sort of done on his face and so I have cut uh, different colors, different shades of gray and the black and put them in this tray so, to pull from. his head or his ears. I decided to go that route instead of finishing down here just because he's so cute and to get that finished is very satisfying. So any of these gaps in here that you see, I mean I could go in and put a piece of glass there but honestly it's going to be filled with black grout and it's going to give the appearance of fur to have that in there so that's no problem make another sunflower pendant and this time I want to make one called 
the fire catcher sunflower. So I just bought these seeds and planted them. So of course they're not blooming yet, but I just think it's so very gorgeous. I've got to do it. That's it. <laughs> I was getting excited about this and so I worked on some more sunflowers before I went to bed last night and I did not record that but I am going to be adding more flowers down here so I have cut uh, some more of these little red ones and I, I went with some darker I thought it needed a little bit more darker red in there and then some more California poppies more yellow on this side and then I will be making some more cosmos on this side and I want to make the swoop kind of go down like this and then I have already cut a bunch of these little white flowers and I will be adding them in. And that's probably about it for this week. Next week I'll start in on the background and the, the, the foliage a little bit more. I did a little bit of a, a couple of leaves up here uh, just to get a feel for it. That's it.
progress I made on the floral this week. I can't wait to bring in those greens next week and really cover up some more of this white. This, there's not gonna be so much white next week and it's gonna be a lot more green. That's it. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.